Okay, I'm back. Uh, I fixed it, and I will show you what the problem was once I show you how I made it. So, you right-click, they open up, you run through, you'll have to sprint to get out, you press this strange button, double tap, run, actually, no, you don't need to run. Okay, and I'm not sure why I have weird lag, but, yeah, okay. So, yes, this is why this is a complicated version. I do, I did realize now that all this stone here is probably not needed, just what's right there. But, yeah, I didn't think of that, so... I guess, really, the one thing that is that I should tell you about this harder version is... I have each being one tick, uh, one tick slower than the other, and add another repeater once it gets to the fourth power, or whatever we call it. Um, this little redstone torch pillar right here, when I press the button in there, the redstone line comes down here, it goes through this, which first goes through here, and powers all this, and goes that way. This, this is another reason why it's the very complicated version. It goes through this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one? Um, that's weird. <laughs> I don't have no clip on, but anyway. This one goes straight to this one, so that, to this redstone line, so that it continues to power this. And each one is slower than the other, so that it keeps the redstone line powered long enough for the person to walk through these... Um, sorry for that mic issue, it's itching. Long enough for the person to walk through the little doorway. And basically it's just the same thing here on the bottom one, but this redstone torch pillar is to power them both. So, as you can see, they're all powered right now, pushing them up so that they're closed. I have this redstone pillar thing here, so that when I press the button, the redstone line goes through there, around there, down to here, which, you know, keeps powering it. Which, there's a redstone torch under this one, which is turning this one off. So, all the redstone torches I just see that are on, plus the one down there, get turned off, turning the rest of these on, and then when these get turned off, it turns this off, and then each one will turn off slower than the other. So it'll be one right after the other, lifting back up. And then once this is done powering everything, it will turn these off, and then it'll close this way, slower, like, um, oh sorry, this one go off first, which means it would go down. So yeah. Yeah, hopefully that's not too much for you, but I'm going to show you how to make this one, which does not require much redstone. So, let me find an area to start it. Um, I don't have creative mode because this is skyblock and I didn't really... Actually, let me... No. I didn't really feel like going through that stupid process or, of converting it to creative. Anyway... I need your redstone. Uh, no redstone torches, just repeaters, and a lever. And... Oh, and <laughs> pistons, of course. Where are the pistons? I usually know where they are. Oh. I always seem to... Oh, there. Okay. So. Three... I'm just gonna do six for now. So, three, six. If you want it to be like that one where it's one after the other, you do that, that, and then you add another one, like that. And I think this one's gonna have a third one. So, one, two, three, one, two. So, you do that. And this side's going to be the entrance. 
So. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, you do. The, you have to put redstone on each one, and thank goodness I remember this time to use commands. The rain is now off, and I'm getting better FPS. Okay. So. What you do here? Crap. Uh, this is just to get the first um, sticky piston to be upside down. I did not press the place. Okay. Three, four, five, six, and I'm going to need one, two. Three, four. You have to do one more than each so you can fit the redstone. One, two, three. Same thing here. And two. And then you just repeat the process. If you want to be all fancy and do that whole redstone r redstone torch pillar so that these are always on, you can do that too and just use the button. But hopefully I explained that well enough so you can do it that way and be able to use it. Because this would take a lot less time to actually show you how I make. So, there's my... I'm not going to make this all fancy and fill it up like the one over there. That was just for show. Anyway, um, there's going to be a switch right here, or a lever, if you may, which, yes, I think that'll work. I just realized something. Yeah, so, I think I may have just messed everything up. <sighs> Hopefully you understand what I'm... Wait. Hopefully you understand what I'm doing here. And what I did wrong. Just do that. Go back there. Sorry for all these technical difficulties here. Um, so as you can see, the lever is placed in the wrong place, but you can fix that yourself. Um, so I moved this up so that when it's turned down, or turned on, I'm sorry, it'll be down and closed. So you just run redstone up to this. And it closes. Hopefully you can hear that. That was a weird scary noise. So. As you can see. Kind of. Um. There you go. So. Yes, they open and close. And let me just double check that you guys are going to be able to understand what I did here. And this, um, if you don't know, this is single player commands that does this. You left click to, oh crap, what the heck happened there? What? Um, where am I? Okay, that was weird. Uh, forget all I just said about single player commands. So, let me just double check that you guys are going to understand that this is going to be the longest or, yes, the longest of all of these. 
So when the redstone goes through here, I have no idea what those holes are, but <laughs> when the redstone goes through here, it'll hit this one first, and continue to power this, which will continue to turn these off and keeping them down. And this little bit right here is just to get that button in there to continue this and restart the whole process so that there is a way out. So let me just do this a second time. Turn that off and right click. I'm so used to right clicking because I'm creative mode. So sometimes you may need to sprint to get out. All I'm doing is walking and I actually almost got killed there. So yeah, sprinting would be nice, but not necessary. And if you can tell what that is over there, that is what you're going to be seeing next week. Or next time. Because I'm still not sure if this is going to be a weekly thing, or just in every other week, or just whenever I think of it. But I do know that it's going to be either Mondays or Tuesdays. I have to double check which day I uploaded the last redstone corner, but yes, whatever that day was, it will continue to be those days. So yeah. Keep an eye out on those days for any redstone stuff. I'm Ventus, and peace out.